All right, gang. Today's question of the day, or topic of the day even, 40 cassettes and are they really, really worth the money, um, the shame of having a 40 cassette? Because so many people just don't want to have a 40 cassette because they say it looks shit or that it looks easy. But let me just tell you about my experience. I've had a 40 cassette now for just over a week. <sighs> Man, it is, I never say man either, fucking hell, <laughs> but it is amazing i am really really happy with it and a lot of people say like oh you're just doing it easy like there's no point you're not going to get fitter you're not going to you know get any better if you've got a 40 cassette but what i would say to that is so this last week i've ridden more kilometers and more meters elevation than i i think there's only one week where I've ridden more and that was when I was in Thailand doing um, Doi Step pretty much every day um, and I have had this week off so I've had more chance to do it but what I'm trying to get the point I'm trying to get at is you don't get fatigue in your legs like gosh, let's have a little sit down here how nice is it look at this I'll sit down on this little bench that chair's gonna be nicer yeah so you don't get fatigued as much um, oh look how nice that is what a good little angle um, yeah, you don't get fatigued as much having um, a 40 cassette because you're not grinding as hard. Um, so we did a massive ride, 130k on Monday. I did another 80k. So the first first day, let me just get, go on to it. You can have a look at my Strava. If you don't know, I've put my Strava link below so you can have a look, quick look through. But yeah, Monday it was like 2,200 metres or something, 2,300 metres, which is the most metres I've ever climbed in a day. Then after that I rode 80k, 1200 metres, which I was like, oh fuck, am I going to be able to do this? Are my legs going to be okay? And do you know what? They actually felt okay because I had a 40 cassette. It just takes that like aching out of riding. Um, and then on Friday I went and I attempted. I'll do, I'm going to do another video about this in a minute, but I attempted um, like the steepest climb in England, but I'll talk about that then. Um, but yeah, I just think they're a really, really good thing, especially if you're just starting out. Um, and even if you're not starting out, I mean, how long have I been riding now? A couple of years, and I've always had a 32. I'm still going to keep a 32 um, on one bike just for commuting and like smaller hills, but for like really big long days out, you just save so much um, strain on your legs that you don't get the pain. And I guess what I would say to people that say, you know, you're not going to be riding, um, you're not going to be getting as much benefit. I mean, is it not benefit to ride in two days consecutively like that or in a week riding that much just because you're not having to grind? Um, and when, I guess maybe when my weight drops a bit, maybe as I get fitter, maybe I'll go back to a 32. But for now, I'm, I love it. It's, it was like a hundred pounds. You have to get like a little indirect to extend the, the derailleur at the back. Um, a longer chain and 40 cassette so I'm really chuffed with it I feel like it was a lot easier and then and one of the main things when I'm like uh, 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 but one of the main things is there's a climb um, of part of this route that we did Monday that is I think it's about 25% and last time I did it I had a 32 and I had to stop I keep ha I kept having to stop to get up this climb because it was just so steep and I couldn't push it and my legs were kind of burning I was getting fatigued whereas this time with a 40 cassette I kind of went up it wasn't easy and the I'm sorry the uh, the memory card ran out um so yeah that's what I was going to say I was going to carry on and say you can still get fatigued. It, it, it was easy going up but my watts were still like good watts so that is what you need to look at and that's why I think it's so important to have a power meter because you can actually see when you're going easier, when you're going harder. So if you get a 40% make sure that you've got um, a power meter so that you can actually understand how, mu how much power you're actually putting out. Because it's even like before I had the 40, when you get, get on flight you just kind of go easy. Um, and when you've got a power meter you can actually up that so you know how much power you're doing. So. Yes, that would be my advice. If you want to get a 40 cassette, make sure you get a, uh, a power meter as well to actually understand how much power you're putting out and to keep it up there and to make sure that you are still working and you are still pushing it and not just going in the easy gears all the time. So that is what I would say. So I will see you next video.